Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Farzana Khanum, Assistant Professor of Anatomy Department. Today I am going to present a topics of histology. The topics is called cartilage. This is a very important topics for our today life and the, our student life in our also regular life. So, first the objectives that we want to know about the cartilage is the definition, features or characteristics, component and types of cartilage. First we have to know what is cartilage. In histologically it is a classified as a specialized connective tissue. So, cartilage is a specialized dense connective tissue designed to give support of our human body and it is also bind uh, with stand bear the weight, with stand torsion and with tear and bending. It is important that to know that it has a ground firm ground substance. What are the general feature or the characteristics of a cartilage? First of all of we know that it is required in the area where is more flexibility is important of our body structure such as joint. And the most important characteristics that it has no blood supply or it is a vascular structure and it is a non nervous structure. From this point of view there is a question, so how the cartilage, cells of cartilage or other component of the cartilage get nutrition though it is avascular. This is a question for you and I will give you the answer a little bit later. And other question is as it is avascular structure, so the regeneration capacity is very poor and it is consist of all three components of the connective tissue. The basic component of the connective tissue are cell, fiber and ground substance. So, a cartilage has a own cell, fiber and ground substance. Last of all we want to know the we all of you know the covering of the cartilage is called perichondrium. So, the cartilage is covered by perichondrium, but the most important information is that perichondrium is absent in two places. Number 1 articular cartilage, number 2 fibro cartilage. This is an important information you have to remember this. Now, let us see about the component. Cells, the cell of the cartilage is chondroblast and chondrocyte. Chondro means cartilage, blast means immature cell, site means cells that are mature. So, chondroblast and chondrocyte. Number 2, it consists of fiber which is called collagen fiber and elastic fiber. Collagen fiber is usually present in three all the types of cartilage, but elastic fiber and other type of collagen fiber present in different cartilage. Ground substance, this is an important feature of our cartilage, it has a different ground substance. It consists of mucopolysaccharide that means chondroitin sulphate, keratin sulphate, hyaluronic acid and it consists of proteoglycan, some of it is known as the agricans. Cells. <coughs> now, we are going to discuss about the cell that means chondroblast and chondrocyte. Chondroblast are the cells which present in the just beneath the perichondrium. It is usually elliptical in shape, branched and all of these cells are derived from the undifferentiated mesenchymal cell. The young cells are known as the chondroblast and the mature cell are known as the chondrocyte. And these cells, the function of this cell is to synthesize the fiber and the ground substance of the cartilage. And the space or the location of chondrocyte in cartilage is called lacunae. It is very important information for you. What is lacunae? It is asked usually asked in viva. So, lacunae means the space of chondrocyte, the space of cartilage where the chondrocyte reside that is called lacunae. Now, second question is what is isogenous aggregates or cell nest? It is also related to the cells of chondrocyte that means cells of cartilage that means chondrocyte. Isogenous aggregates or cell nest is a place or is a group of cell which is derived from the same chondroblast and is originated by division, mitotic division of chondroblast that form the cell up to 8 cell. These 8 cell are a group of cell which reside in the cartilage. This is called isogenous aggregates. We have to mention that these cells arises from a single chondroblast that means it has the same origin and it is originated by the division of mitotic division. So, 
these are same group of cells so it is called isogenous the isogenous means a same group or same origin aggregates means it is a grouped the cell are reside in a grouped of cell so in lacuna in hyaline cartilage we see this cell nest or isogenous group of cell and these are all about about the cells now the important is the types of the cartilage so what are the types of cartilage this is a very common paid question for our student the types of cartilage is hyaline cartilage elastic cartilage and fibro cartilage differ from each other is due to presence of fiber and amount of fiber present between them it depends the classification this classification is actually depends on the type of fiber and amount of fiber present in cartilage first we want to know in this class about the hyaline cartilage hyalos means glass so hyaline is a synonym like a glass and it is the most abundant cartilage present in our body and we have already know the pericondrium is present in hyaline cartilage so <coughs> now come to first point cell chondrocyte and chondroblast are present in hyaline cartilage the cells chondrocyte are arranged in isogenous aggregates it is important or grouped and they are located in lacunae second point is the fiber here the in hyaline cartilage it consists of type 2 collagen fiber most abundantly minorly other collagen fiber also may present but it is important to say in exam to answer is that type 2 fiber type 2 collagen fiber is present in hyaline cartilage now comes to our brown substance or matrix so it consists of matrix proteoglycan mucopolysaccharide that means chondroitin sulfate keratin sulfate and others and water and this is uh, characterized by basophilic homogeneous transparent amorphous intercellular matrix here we use some word that is highly basophilic that means during staining hyaline cartilage the matrix are stained with basophilic means bluish violet it is due to presence of more proteoglycan than the collagen fiber so the staining character will be the presence of proteoglycan which is stained as basophilic that means it is bluish violet homogeneous the term homogeneous means the constituent are amorphous or usually in same component in same compartment so the fiber and the ground substance that means proteoglycan and the fiber are in same consistent level it is transparent due to during in fresh living body it is looking as a more or less transparent amorphous it has no basic structure and intracellular matrix appear homogeneous as the collagen fiber present in them has the same refractive index as the ground substance this is very important for it is the refractive index of the cartilage it is homogeneous due to presence of refractive index of fiber and refractive index of ground substance is same so it is important to know what is basophilic what is homogeneous and what is transparent or amorphous the cell in this picture we see the cell of chondrocyte present in isogenous aggregates and responsible for the synthesis of collagen fiber and ground substance and the cells are reside in lacunae so in the matrix we see there is two region that is territorial region and interterritorial region territorial region means an area just lying aside of the lacunae matrix around the cell is called lacunae that means that is the known as the territorial the territorial region is more basophilic or more bluish or violet it's due to presence of more ground substance or proteoglycan than the cell fiber so today that is our class we know about the the type the feature of car cartilage what is cartilage feature of cartilage and types of cartilage and what is the cells of cartilage we have to remember all these points for today and inshallah next class we will recite about the other things thank you all